Good morning, my brother, and welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Day number three, proud of you guys, stay in the course. And today I've got two special gifts for you. One is we're going to have a guest that's going to help us grip the Word today. And the second gift is, it's a giveaway. If you stay till the end, you'll find that there'll be a free giveaway from me to you. Uh, and I think you'll enjoy it. So make sure you stay all the way through the video, okay? Hey, the special guest is a, a dear, dear brother of mine. Many of you know him. Many of you heard of him. Many of you will definitely get to hear his story as his name is Brian Jorgensen, the director of golf of the Nashville Golf and Athletic Club. And on August 26th, 2018, Went to church with his family, just like any normal Sunday. And went to lunch with his lovely wife. And as she finished packing up to go to work uh, over in Memphis, Brian leaned over to kiss her and say that he loved her. And that would be the last time that he'd see her. On her way to work in Memphis, uh, she was in a horrific car crash and she perished and walked into the arms of Jesus. The verses, there's two of them today that we're going to grip, were on Patricia's mirror. They were her life verses, which Brian, as you can understand, adopted those two verses that became his life verses. And guys, the crazy thing, those have been my two life verses since 1997. So let me introduce you to Brian. He and I were fortunate to spend uh, this time gripping the word on the just off the 18th green at Pebble, Be Pebble Beach. So sit back. Uh, we're going to get a grip on Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Enjoy. Hey friends, welcome to your daily grip on the word. Uh, we're at a special, special place this morning here on the 18th green at Pebble Beach. And I'm with my dear friend, Brian Jorgensen, and not only dear friend, but dear brother in Christ. And today it's January 3rd. So we're actually gonna grip Proverbs 3, verses five and six. We've got two verses today. And this is what it says. It says to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Brian, as we read those two verses, uh, what does that reveal to you? Uh, I think it reveals uh, the amazing power of trusting in the Lord and understanding that he guides your path and he's in charge. You know, after uh, after the accident and after you know losing Patricia, I think the hard thing for anybody would be, um, is that verse still apply? Mm. Uh, and, and I think uh, in my world it applied more at that moment than in any moment because that was Patricia's life first. And so knowing that she felt that same way um, gave me the power to uh, want that to be my life first and, and wanting to live that out, not just talking about it. Uh, but instead of talking about it, I want to walk it out. And, uh, and I think what happened this week at, at Pebble, um, is pretty pretty special in seeing uh, all these men come together for one reason. You know, yeah. it's the name of the event. It's not in Scott's grip or in Brian's grip. You know, it's it's in his grip. So good. Many of us are starting to wear the in his grip wristband with Proverbs three, five, and six on it. And if you don't have one yet, and you're viewing this, please send us a message. I'll send out a free band for you, just as a reminder daily that we are in his grip and. So the G we went through is God's word with the two verses R is really what is revealed to you, Brian. And let's move to the I, which is implement. You know, how do we implement this day in and day out yeah, every, into our life? Yeah, every day. I mean, the person that you meet, the conversation that you have, um, the person you reach out to, uh, the email that you get, the text that you get. I think it's how, how you handle those. Mm. Um, being available and understanding that uh, you're not you're not living on an island and you don't want them to live on an island. We have such a great community of, of men 
that we've established in Nashville through our life group. Um, I just think that's the that's what it means to trust in the Lord is that uh, He is going to guide your steps no matter no matter how bad or how good life is. Um, he, he's right there for you. Like I said, I, I stopped believing in luck and just because and, and happenstance. Right. Uh, I, I look for not those lucky type phrases, but I look I look for I look for the Lord. That's awesome. Good. We've gone through the G, R, and I. The last part is P. And come and join us. Maybe come in a little bit closer. And uh, we're just going to pray as we end this time together. And uh, wow, take a look behind us. It's uh, pretty spectacular. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just bow in humble adoration of who you are. I thank you for this opportunity to bring all of us together to get a grip on your word, Lord. And, and you show us in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 that we really need to put our trust into you not our own selves or not in the world and lord you are so faithful we just look to you in all ways in everything that we do god in our daily walk in our marriages in our businesses and everything that you have us doing here on earth god we we know that you will guide us down that path so father thank you for this time together and we ask all of this in the mighty name of jesus amen anyway thanks buddy bless you man appreciate it Thank you. Wow. Uh, I still get emotional watching of just where God has brought Brian through tragedy to really triumph in his life. So incredibly proud of him. As you heard on the end, if anybody would like a free in his grip wristband with Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 on it, I'd be happy to send you one. Just respond via email, uh, Scott dot layman at in his grip golf dot com make sure you do scott dot layman at in his grip golf dot com so guys um it's an amazing story you'll hear more and more of how brian not only a board member for in his grip but he is overseeing the In His Grip World Pro-Ams, uh, went from Pebble Beach 2019 and 2020. Many of you saw that story unfold. And then in 2021, this year will be Pebble Beach. Also, we're going to do one in Pinehurst in September, and we'll get some more details uh, for you on that. But let me close this out with a word of prayer. I pray that you enjoyed uh, the guest today for Gripping the Word. I'll do that occasionally, and uh, let's go ahead and bow before the Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much as you reveal through your word that that trust is really, really mission critical to walk with you. Lord, as we trust wholeheartedly in you, and not to lean on our own understanding, but in all our ways we acknowledge you, we know without a shadow of a doubt that you would direct our path. So, Father, take the word that we grip today. Father, please help us take it from our head knowledge down that 18 inches straight to our heart. God, I, I ask, please, God, don't let it just be another Bible verse or two that we know. Help us to put it deep and in, etched into our heart that we would walk it out from this day forward. We ask this in a powerful and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right, God bless you guys. Have an amazing day. I will see you in the morning.